Okay, so here I am getting my papers together. This is the Prima fabric paper. I'm not sure of the name, but I'll have all the information on my blog. I'm just distressing the edges using my scissors. I couldn't find my distressing tool. And what I'm doing, I'm just spraying it with water to make it easier. And now here I'm just using my distress ink, and I think it's that frayed burlap from Tim Holtz. Okay, so I'm going to have a bottom layer to this layout and I am just trying to figure out how I'm going to get it all together. I'm I'm just distressing this blue paper that's going to go underneath uh, just to give it that rugged look. I'm doing some more distressing right here. And uh, let's see here. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to place my photo here. This is a picture of my dad. So I'm just cutting out this cherish or the outlining of the cherish because I want to slip in my picture in there and I'm just trying to figure out where I, I want to put it at. Okay, so kind of have an idea where I want this at even though I really don't know where I'm going at with this layout. I just kind of pulled out a few things. I'm just distressing the picture with my scissors again. Just just to go with the rest of the layout. Here I'm just using some burlap. Actually, I end up changing my mind about this burlap. It's it's beautiful. I don't get me wrong. But I didn't think it went with the picture or the layout. And I ended up changing my mind about it. So I took it out. And I'll let you know where I got that burlap from. It's it's actually really, really great um, burlap ribbon. Here is some just a regular burlap, and this is from Liz's Paper Boutique Loft, and you can find her here on YouTube and also on her website, and I'll give you all that information. Here I'm just looking through my Tim Holtz box, looking for what I want to incorporate into my layout, and then I'm just playing with it here. I, I really don't know where I'm going with it at this point. Uh, this is just... Baker's twine, it's just the generic stuff that you get at Walmart or something like that. It's just the cheapy stuff, but I, I have a ton of it, so I want to use it up. Okay, this is this, that snow paste stuff that you could get at Michael's, and I'm, I'm just adding some paint to it because I want to put some some layers or some, I just want some thickness to this layout because I think it's too flat and too plain so I decided I wanted to add a little bit of something. I'm not a big mixed media person although I love getting messy but I thought I'd try something different on my layout. So I'm just I just grabbed like an old Justice gift card or something I don't even know what it is. I just grabbed whatever I had in handy and I'm trying to cover up the surrounding um, the pink portion of it because I thought it was too pink for my layout. I thought it was kind of feminine and I, obviously it's a picture of my dad at the beach so I wanted to lighten it up a little bit and here I'm just painting the actual paste onto the layout it's just it's just to give it more dimension I uh, just did it on the edges there you know I just drying it out a little bit it, it actually dries really fast it just uh, I'm just trying to get it done more quick quicker Sorry. Uh, here I'm just drying out the other page that goes underneath of it. Okay, so I am going to. Oh, okay, so these are the My Creative Time, her new dies that she came out with. It's a little envelope die. It's, it's really cute. Actually, you can use it on any project. I've made an, an, a mini album out of it, and I also use it in my smash books. I'll give you that link as well later on and I'll, actually all information is going to be on my blog tomorrow for our layout hop post. Okay so now I'm just putting this layout together. I'm just adding my picture and the burlap and and trying to figure out what I'm going to do um, to this layout. I'm just gluing everything down in my layout and I'm trying to figure out where I want this envelope because I don't like my handwriting so I try to hide it by 
putting them or my journaling in in some kind of pocket or behind the photo and that's basically what I do with most of my layouts and, and it gives it a really clean look but I mean if you have nice handwriting you don't have to do this I just do not like my handwriting so I'm just adding some embellishments these are just the Tim Holtz embellishments and they're, they're totally random I have no plan it's just kind of coming together it's totally random uh, I'm just adding a button and this is like I said this is this is all Tim Holtz the ideology collection here and then I, I pulled some stuff out I ended up changing my mind and I'm not ch using that stuff here is um, I'm just and I don't know the name of it offhand but it, it is uh, it's kind of like a, you know glitter, glimmer mist and I just you know use the paintbrush to put that mist all over my paper and, and I got cut off with the video so I had to stop that. Here I use one of the tags, the the Tim Holtz tags, and it says "or." Um, I'm just trying to find the placement for it. The the little twine that I put underneath the picture, you probably didn't catch it. Oh, here I'm doing it right now, and it's just to give it more dimension. I'm just tucking it underneath the photo itself, and then I also tied it around the photo. And here's some blue. Um, Burlap. I'm not, I'm not burlap. I'm sorry. It's just twine, and actually that twine, it's it's a beautiful blue color in it, and I thought it went really well with this layout. And you could find also find that twine in um, Liz's Paper Loft Boutique, and she has fantastic prices on that. I'm tying some more of that that twine on the top of the photo, just for it could go with the other one, the brown one. And I'm just adding a little bit of glue to pull that, put that um, rest of the burlap or the twine underneath that photo. And that's it. I don't have any still photos just because it's not working out for me for some reason. So check out my blog and thank you guys for hopping along.